Hey guys, here here for every raid chest solo. These raid chests offer 5 spoils of conquest, a raid mod, and a raid item you've unlocked. There are 4 of these chests. The first chest is located after the first encounter. This chest has a barrier around it, so the only way to get it is by soloing the first encounter. This can be done, but it's not the easiest. You'll need to kill the first minotaur on each side, capture the plate, then break the heads off the new minotaur, and let it chase you away from the plate. Since only the minotaur can capture the plate, if you lure it away, you have soloed that side. That minotaur can only capture the plate from their original side, not the others. So as long as you are close enough to the minotaurs, just have them chase you around the map. After you've captured all three plates for a while, you will be done. Or have two headless minotaurs chase you, and keep killing the last minotaur. For this, you will probably want healing and blinding effects. Also, rally before you start for max heavy. I'll link some videos for that in the description. The second chest is the easiest. For this, you will probably want a sword and mobility exotics like Stompies and Lion Rampants. Also, you want 100 mobility if possible. You will need to Sparrow Breach this rock. Back your Sparrow against this wall. Hold left, jump off your Sparrow. Then, as you are jumping off, side boost left. This will make you fall underground. It could take multiple attempts. Now you will quickly jump and sword swing to the ledge. If you don't have a sword, you will want Icarus Dash or use a super for extra distance. Jump to the wall and to the pillar. You probably want balanced glide, triple jump, or high lift. I find it easiest to jump into this corner, then jump up top. Go around the right. For this, you should stay closer to the right side because there is an invisible wall. Land on the sunshine. Jump over the load zone and fall into this pit. When you respawn, you should be inside of the map. If you don't immediately fall down into the pit, you might not respawn inside, meaning you have to redo this. At this point, go forward into the second chest. The third and fourth chests are a lot harder. This requires you to do the second chest skip you just did, and after, you need a sparrow fly through the next area. To spawn a sparrow, you need to backtrack to the first area. After that, drive your sparrow down the normal path.
We want to do Sparrow Slipstream Flying, requiring a forward and right roll. This takes a lot of practice. Tutorials for controller and keyboard will be in the video description. Don't feel bad if you can't do it. Land your sparrow up top. Position your sparrow so that it drops in this hole. If you lose your sparrow, you'll need to go all the way back up top to summon a new one. Usually, if you keep dying, it will respawn you back up top. Otherwise, you can jump off the tower in mid to make the high jump back. When you get inside, you will need to do another sparrow wall breach. Capping your frames lower can help prevent you from dying during a wall breach. This is harder to do than the first wall breach. go through the outside of the map. When you load into the Gorgon's Labyrinth, immediately jump off the map. This should respawn you inside. After that, shoot the three boxes in the maze to open the door to the bonus chest. Grab the bonus chest and you are done with this run. The door to the gatekeepers is locked. If a Gorgon sees you, it'll wipe the area. After that, you will be sent to the beginning of the raid. So get the chest before you are caught. If you have a couple ward cliff shots, you can solo kill a Gorgon instead of being wiped by it.
For the final chest, you will be doing the same thing, except instead of dying when you load the labyrinth, you will die when you load into the vault. This will put you at the jump puzzle and allow you to get the final chest. In theory, this should also allow you to get the fragments for the shader, or with multiple people, you could do the mythoclast catalyst. For that, you may need to have some people leave and join the fire team to move them through the areas, specifically to move from Gorgons to Gatekeeper, but you could also wipe at Gorgons to get sent to the beginning, and then do the glitch to get to the Gatekeeper in the same run, and finish the plates. If you have trouble backtracking to some plates, just have someone load in with Salvation's grip ammo to help players climb walls. Of course, I haven't tested this myself, but it should work in theory. Special thanks to Marie FWC for this. Cheese forever, Guardian.